Is this a beautiful 57 Chevy or what? This color, it's like a glacier blue, and the stance and the wheels, just gorgeous. It really looks different from any 57 I've seen. And boy, we got a lot going on. It has a new crate LS3 motor, the 4L60 automatic, ride tech suspension, four wheel disc, vintage air. It's got all that good stuff. Stereo system. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all about it. Take your time and look at about 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every car along with a monthly finance option. 10% down and 12, 13 years available on most cars. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified when the next one's posted. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. So the body was lifted off of the frame. Uh, to me, it looks like a custom frame. It's all box, smooth, it's gloss black, all ride tech up front, uh, tubular control arms, and they're extra special with extra supports and gussets and that. Uh, looks like some nice stuff. Uh, coil over, gas adjustable shocks, big fat sway bar. Of course, all the steering components, bushings, ball joints, that's all new. It uh, has a rack and pinion. Uh, steering was added with a nice tubular support bar. Uh, so everything up under the front end is all new and custom. Same thing in the back. It has a four-link system, tubular control arms, has a panhard bar. That's a diagonal bar. It really keeps things from twisting. A sway bar, uh, gas-adjustable shocks, lowering springs. Uh, so all the suspension, all uh, you know, tricked out. Disc brakes at all four wheels. They're slotted and drilled in the back. Uh, new custom e-brake assembly. New fuel system, electric fuel pump, braided fuel line going up to the front. Uh, everything under there is new. All the brake lines, hoses, uh, you name it. A TIG welded Mandrel bent stainless steel exhaust system. All custom made for this car. Flowmaster mufflers. Has nice little stainless tips coming out the back. And all this work that I'm talking about was done locally. Uh, the gentleman that owns the car lives 10 minutes from here. The shop is 10 minutes from here. So very familiar with uh, the work done to this car. Um, so the floors are all clean metal, all painted black. You look up at the motor. It is a crate motor, brand new. The guy just bought it uh, in 21. It's all aluminum motor, high torque starter. The tag is down on the side of the block. I even looked up the part number, and it does come back as the LS3 GM crate motor. 4L60E, that's the electronic uh, overdrive automatic transmission. Has a new Ford 9-inch rear end in the back, uh, like a 355 Posi gear in there. So now let's check out the body. <clears throat> the roof. Excellent, straight, no issues, clean. Across the trunk, all this straight, clean, no issues. Lines up real nice. Lines up down here real nice. All looks good, body straight, clean. Side of the car is straight. This lines up real nice. Door sticks out a little bit. Maybe that can be adjusted in. Yeah, it looks like it can adjust the latch a little bit. It's all smooth down here. No rust, no bubbles, no damage, and the car is straight. This all lines up very nicely. <clears throat> so it's a glacier blue metallic, all laid out evenly. It's all one colors, no mismatched colors or anything like that. The clear coat looks really deep and wet. I noticed the metal flakes sparkling. The paint job's really nice. I'm fussy. I grew up wet sanding, buffing cars. I see a little bit of dust still in the paint, a little bit of orange peel. And if you want to get really fussy, uh, one more light wet sand would make it like glass. There are some chips on the edge here of the hood and the fender that have been touched up. You have to be careful when you close these. You got both hands and set it straight down. Uh, but this side of the car is straight. No rust, no bubbles. It's all real good, no damage. So the body does look clean and straight. And the paint is gorgeous. Don't, don't take it the wrong way, but I got to, you know, when you're spending this much money, I got to be honest with you. Uh, there's little dust here and there if you're looking for it. Um, 
So the trim, it has all the Bel Air trim on it, and there's a little mark here or there. Uh, it all looks very good. It's all straight. It's all shiny. Just has a little bit of wear. And there are chips from slamming the trunk too hard down along the bottom here. It's been touched up and around this edge. This looks new. All the chrome back here looks like it's a 9 out of 10. You got blue dot tail lights. And do you know where the gas is filled? Right there's your gas filler. But this stuff here looks uh, to be very good, but maybe from a previous restoration. This up here looks to be original. One little dimple right here and just has normal like light wear on it. Uh, back window looks original, it has some light scratches. The windshield's new, this glass is new, the mirror is new, door handle looks new. Got the rockets up here, they're in good shape. The chrome is sparkling, it has the chrome tips instead of the black rubber ones. Headlight bezels have been replaced. Foose wheels, these are new. Uh, let's see, the size, 17s in front, you know, they're performance tires. Probably about 18s in back. I can tell you much, much wider in back. Yep, 18s. So it has a nice stance, staggered wheels. It's a beautiful car. Let's open it up. I got a lot more to show you. Let's see what we got in the trunk. Let's see what awaits us. So under the trunk lid is painted. Got the inserts, so nice and clean looking. The weather strip. So that's all nice. The whole inside of the trunk compartment is painted blue. Battery's been relocated. There's a nice stainless steel battery box here. Uh, stereo equipment behind here is an amplifier. I think there's a subwoofer. Uh, you got a nice rubber mat. And how many 57 Chevys have I seen over the years? This color really makes this one stand out beautiful door jams are nice weather strips and sill plates were replaced the door panels are custom and has a little bit of blue stitching in there uh, you got some speakers and tweeters in the door panel custom gauges very nice install uh, upgraded electric wiper system all the metal is painted to match the outside Looks like the trim is replaced. Has a, a retro digital stereo. Tucked underneath here are some auxiliary plugs. The clock is actually working. The AC vents are neatly installed. The vintage air controls, no more cables. It's all electronic now. Uh, low car floor shifter. A nice little mini console here with the cup holders. The seats are out of like a 65 Impala. Uh, all uh, cushioned, rebuilt, has nice blue stitching, very nicely upholstered. Back seats all upholstered to match, so is the armrests and side panels. Six by nine speakers in the back. Looks like it's a cloth headliner with matching visors. I didn't mention the tilt column with the cushion grip wheel on there either. So it's a nice, uh, nice interior. Got some nice features. Reproduction Chevy mats. So I know the motor has very few miles on it. It is a brand new crate motor. He was having trouble with the motor he had rebuilt prior to this, so he just went to GM and bought a new motor for it. This is the LS3. I think it's a 6.2 liter. 495 horsepower. Uh, it does have an upgraded injection system on top. Uh, a custom set of coated headers. Nice dipstick for the trans. Vintage Air uh, mini polished compressor. Serpentine belt system. The billet pulleys. Griffin aluminum radiator. With the matching, I think this is the condenser for the uh, air conditioning. You got a polished overflow, two electric fans keeping it cool, nice polished air intake, uh, modern chrome alternator. You got power steering hiding down there. 
that power breaks. All painted blue. Oh yeah, this has got the sound. I would say so. So, beautiful 57 Chevy with all the good stuff. LS powered, disc brakes, air condition, head turner. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman about whatever questions you may have. They can help you finance it. They can help get it delivered to your garage. That's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you'll be first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.